Okay, so I've batch sewed all of my little um, pieces together, and now I'm doing some free motion quilting on them. And I wanted to show you, so this is just straight line quilting um, with the feed dogs down, but traditional free motion is more like that. I don't do a lot of it. Um, I prefer more like outline quilting, but probably my favorite, so probably my favorite um, free motion quilting is, um, I call it stitch graffiti where I just do some sort of graffiti line. I don't know if you can see um, all of the lines here, but I, I do like to sew kind of um, extra lining and I love how that looks. Um, this one I'm just outlining the pattern. It seemed like it was appropriate to this piece of fabric. So I'm just gonna to show you, I probably will speed it up a little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna go through with my feed dogs down, a free motion foot on, and um, I'm not very good at it, but I'm working on it. And I do it um, similar to batch sewing where I just end up having them all connected. So I'll show you that process too. up, put my needle up, now pull and grab the next. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do another graffiti. Let's try, I'm going to try to do Love. Ooh, let's see. Too bad. 
And because I'm doing a project for myself, it feels really low risk. So I'm just going to go for it. Ooh, this one has a little problem. See how I didn't quite catch that? So I'm going to definitely go over that. And maybe that gives me an idea just to go in squares. So let's start here. This is going to be interesting. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? When all else fails, add more fabric. Let's do that. So I'm just adding another piece, another patch of fabric, and I'm going to be very careful to keep the bottom part uh, from being folded over. Now this would probably be better without my few dogs down, but what better to try. Actually, instead of squares, I'm just going to do lines. sewed all the pieces, not all the pieces, most of the pieces together. I have um, not only batch sewed them, but I've done all the free motion quilting on them and I've trimmed most of the strings, although I'm seeing a string. Um, so I've trimmed most of the spruce strings. I've uh, batch sewed them. I've put them into um, a, uh, layout now. I did this last night in front of the TV and it was really dark because so I couldn't get great footage of it, but, um, just gonna hold it up here. Um, like this is gonna be the cover piece and the things I haven't batch sewed yet is I want to add more like little, uh, triangle bits. Um, I think to this whole side and this whole side and maybe the top two. Um, but this is where it is right now for the cover. And then the spine is kind of interesting because I'm actually gonna have part of the spine piece go onto the cover. So this is what the spine of the binder looks like. And then the back cover, um, 
one. It looks like this, and then this is a piece to wrap around onto the front and become the closure. So this is what it looks like when they're all just kind of pinned together.